this is Luton and today guys I wanted to just talk about something that I've been thinking about for a little bit of time uh, mainly because of this week and I've had a few videos up this week and the majority of feedback from that has been really positive so that's great thank you very much um, some of it uh, you know as always on YouTube has not been so positive you get the typical bitching trolling crap and um, but it did just make me think actually um, about a few things and the kind of comments that you get with these things are people telling you flat out that you know you suck at the game and you know you get the other people who are just telling you that you're wrong and they go oh you you're, you just got your facts wrong and, and they just sort of break you down but without often backing it up particularly well but you've also have other people like I've seen on a few of my videos you get guys sort of saying like oh my god I've never seen anybody play like you and they kind of you know tear you down and sort of say like um Oh, that's right, some guy was saying about, you know, how I didn't compensate for my recoil. But on the particular game that I was playing, we were in, like, extremely fast-paced uh, close-quarter action. And, you know, we were under such pressure in that round that, you know, I really wasn't thinking in my head, hmm, must make sure to compensate my recoil at every shot that I make. I was literally going, ah, there's people everywhere and I've tried to kill them. So, you know, <laughs> for these kind of situations, it's totally, totally different. But it does bring me on to really what I wanted to talk about. And that was like the reasons why people play the games. And for me, the reasons that I've played games have changed very much uh, throughout my whole life. I've been playing games, like I said on another video, for about 18 years. And I started off, as most people start off, just playing games on like the N64 um, in my bedroom with some friends. We're just having like four player Goldeneye and you know other games like that. And, you know, it was really good fun times. And I remember, you know, the, the difference with things like that was that if you had a bad round and you got completely destroyed, everyone would just have a laugh about it. And you'd be, oh my God, I suck so much. And you're like, yeah, you idiot. You know. And you just, you know, it's a much more friendly thing. Whereas now, because of the internet and because you're playing with random strangers all the time, that has been completely taken away and, and disassociated. And you feel... You know, unless you're playing with friends and people that you know, um, like clan mates or whatever, then you do feel slightly more detached, and I think that it can break you down much more. When I used to play with friends, even if you did badly, you would have a laugh about it and you'd joke about it. But when you play online now, because you are much more anonymous and detached, you it can make you feel quite bad. Like you, you can feel if you have a bad round, much more frustrated and detached in in a completely different way. Whereas before, you would, would not have done. And another gaming period that was very different and significant for me was when I played World of Warcraft. And that was very, very different to how I play now because, you know, now I'm very busy in my general life and FPS for me and the way that I game now, it's much more about just playing with friends, um, having some games. Like I've said before, I play to win. So I will always, I'll play the best that I can and I'll support the team that I best that I can. And I think that's really all you can ask of anyone. And that's why I think it's so ridiculous that people can, you know, think to come on and have this opinion that basically, you know, if you don't do this, then you suck. And it's just, ah, oh, it's, it's a very strange, aggressive attitude to take because at the end of the day, everybody's different and we're all playing different things. And a lot of, that's what a lot of my videos are about. I've never claimed to be this superstar gamer and I, I never would, you know, I'm, I'm an average player pretty much. Um, I have some good rounds, I have some bad rounds and that's also why with my gameplay that I put up I never try to censor it heavily. I might cut sections out to save on time because often, you know, Battlefield round will go on for a long time and people don't want to watch a, a 30 minute video every time. Um, I know my videos can still be pretty long but it's, it's often a necessity. But the thing is, I don't doctor my videos down to, to cut out all my deaths or the bits that I do wrong because the only way you learn from a game is by understanding the mistakes that you make. And I've said this to people before that often I will review gameplay that I've had before and I, I see things like I miss a guy, you know, I'll be running straight forward. I'll be like a guy in a doorway and often in my videos people point this out as if like I didn't notice myself. Yeah, I think there was one, uh, what was it, my, my Battlefield Directions video and there was someone who said, did you notice there was a sniper up in the window? It's like, yeah, I noticed him. That's why I marked him. It's just like, ah, uh. and people love to point out these obvious mistakes as if somehow you hadn't seen them and it's like yeah I did notice that that's why I record my stuff so that I can review my gameplay and when I put up my footage and I put up my views and all these kind of things 
I just pick out rounds that I think are interesting. Whether or not I did good or bad is kind of irrelevant to me because that's not really what I'm looking at. I'm just looking at gameplay situations that I thought were interesting. So an attacking game where we played strong and we had a good tactic and it worked, um, a defensive video where maybe we got crushed and we wanted to look at what went wrong. And if I'm trying to make videos to help other people understand the mistakes that I've made and my team have made and, and all this kind of thing, but it doesn't help if I put up like cut together montages of me thrashing out enemies all the time because that doesn't teach you anything. That just shows you, st well, I don't really know what it shows you. It, it just shows you someone killing people well. Which, to be honest, is, um, well, it's useless, really, isn't it? I mean, it, is, it doesn't teach you anything. It just shows you someone else who, for all you know, could have had an incredibly bad game, but just for the 10-second clip that they were showing did very, very well. And let's face it as well, you know, I've spoken to many people about this. I've spoken to, like, Level Cap and other guys at Battlefield O, and, you know, good gamers, guys who, you know, have really good footage and they play very, very well. And, you know, Level Cap has said to me the other day, he was like, yeah, you know, without naming names there's some people that put up constant you know of these kick-ass montages and stuff like this but in their actual games may only end up with like a 1-1 KD you know if some guy is getting like you know a 20 kill streak in one clip well on a 64 player server that's not that hard to do because there's very many situations where you'll come around a corner and there'll be 10 people and you'll just mow them down especially if it's a bottleneck so the point that I'm trying to get at is with my footage and my gaming, I'm not really looking to make those kind of things. I do a little montage every now and then because they're always fun to do, you know. But really what I am just trying to do is put together footage and gameplay that I think is interesting, I think hope w would be interesting for other people, and that hopefully everyone can learn something from. So this brings me back to like the real point of why I was making this little video here. Um, it's not really to deride anyone, and it's not to say to the people that, that comment on my videos making you know claims or, or you know saying things. It's it's nothing to do with that. Um, it's much more really that I just wanted to remind everyone that there's all different types of gamers out there, people that love all sorts of different things, you know, there's people that love RTS, there's people that love RPGs, there's people that love sports, there's people that love FPSs, there's people that like playing casually, there's people that like playing hardcore, there's people that like playing competitively, there's a huge sphere in the world of gaming, you know, some people just love single players, I guarantee you there's people out there that only play single player games and never play online, um, and maybe that's because they don't do very well online, but then at the end of the day, if you do struggle with something and it's you know you never do very well it's no fun and at the end of the day everyone is here to have fun um i mean another thing that people often comment on my on in my videos is they go you know this is just a game you're taking it so seriously and it's like well, yeah but i enjoy playing things seriously i enjoy technicalities and stuff i love that kind of thing but that's just me everybody's different so i think i just wanted to remind everyone that we're all just here to enjoy gaming and enjoy what developers have provided and at the end of the day everybody's going to enjoy that in their own way and if people want to come on and enjoy the things that I do that's fantastic if people don't like what I do or they don't like the way that I play they don't have to watch what I do and they don't have to comment and they don't have to you know get involved at all there's plenty of videos out there there's plenty of YouTube commentators out there and I just wanted to say thanks for all the people that enjoy my work um, I always try to get involved with my viewers. I know a lot of YouTube um, players don't do that. You know, if I do get tons and tons of comments or if I don't get back to a question that you've asked, you know, I'm sorry, you know, because there is obviously a lot of people commenting here and there. But if you have suggestions or ideas for videos, if there's something that you would like me to comment on, if there's a tactic you would like me to look at, if there's anything like that, I'll try and do it if I think it will make a good video. So thanks for watching this one, guys. I hope it's been you know a little bit of an insight, a little bit um, something to think on. And if anybody wants, you know, please comment on this with your own sort of thoughts about it. And um, you know, I'll try and get involved with that, and maybe I'll do a little update on this if if people have ideas and things to to think about in relation to it. So um, yes, thank you for watching, guys, and uh, see you for the next one.